A former Tottenham player has stated that Tottenham were garbage against Bournemouth. The Amazon documentary trailer was released today and Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho has stated that he will not be watching it. Uh, Eric Dyer wants double wages for a brand new contract and Tottenham could go sixth if we beat Arsenal in the North London derby on Sunday. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Friday, the 10th of July. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. Let's start with Tottenham's result in the Premier League last night. Bournemouth nil, Spurs nil. Tottenham are now ninth in the Premier League. We have now played 34 matches, which means we only have four Premier League games left of the 2019-2020 campaign. We have won 13 of those 34 matches. We have lost 11 and drawn 10. We have scored 52 goals and conceded 44, have a goal difference of plus eight, and we have 49 points. If results go our way over the weekend and Tottenham beat North London, London rivals Arsenal on Sunday, Tottenham would go up to sixth place in the Premier League with 52 points. A report out earlier today from ESPN and they are stating that Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho has said that he will not watch the new Amazon documentary of Tottenham's 2019-2020 season and admitted his frustration at the intrusion from cameras during filming. The 22-second trailer for All or Nothing Tottenham Hotspur was released on Friday, which was earlier today, focusing on Mourinho's arrival at the club last November to succeed Maurizio Pochettino as head coach. Jose Mourinho was talking about Amazon and said, I try to forget them during the time. If you ask me something that I enjoy, no, I don't like the feeling of being in Big Brother. I try to forget them and I think I managed to do that for the majority of the time. Mourinho then went on to say, I have no idea what there is. I have no concerns. Nothing is fake. Everything is real. For them, it must be great because they have the day by day, 24 hours of what a football club is and what a dressing room is. They have everything. So, so, so real. Nobody has acted for it. It is the way it is. Mourinho then went on to say that he will not be watching the Amazon documentary when they do release it. He said, am I going to watch it? No, no, I'm not. It is not something that I want to do. Also, because I know better than anyone what our day by day is here. But then I think that it will be very, very interesting for people that loves football, loves sport, and I think it's going to be great for them. As I said, the Amazon documentary will be out later this summer. How do you think that you're going to feel the opening scenes of the first episode, Maurizio Pochettino getting the sack and Jose Mourinho coming in? Are you looking forward to it or not? Last night, of course, Spurs drew 0-0 at Bournemouth and talking on Sky Sports after the match, uh, Roy Keane, the Manchester United legend, was talking about Tottenham and said, we shouldn't be surprised. They have it in their makeup. That's in their DNA. Tottenham will constantly disappoint you. Tottenham now have four Premier League games left of the 2019-2020 season. Arsenal this Sunday at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, followed by Newcastle away, Leicester at home and Crystal Palace away. Realistically, how many points do you think Tottenham will pick up in these remaining four Premier League games? And please do put your predicted lineup and your score prediction for the Arsenal game in the comments section below. Former Tottenham player Alan Brazil, now working for TalkSport, was talking on the radio earlier today, talking about Tottenham's performance last night against Bournemouth and said, Tottenham were a disgrace as far as I'm concerned. Garbage. They are a bunch of strangers and are they giving 100%? No chance. Are the players stopping playing for Jose Mourinho? It looks like it to me. A transfer rumour, and this one I have said many, many times over the last couple of months, but the Sun have reported it yet again today, and they are stating that Chelsea star Willian has been offered a contract by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, and now the Brazilian is mulling over a free transfer at the end of this season. 
After Tottenham's 0-0 draw against Bournemouth in the Premier League last night, former Tottenham Hotspur chairman Lord Sugar tweeted, come back Poch. Now, on Twitter last night, Daniel Levy, Maurizio Pochettino and Jose Mourinho were all trending on Twitter. Lots of discussions, lots of Tottenham fans very unhappy with the situation, the, the performance and the result in particular from last night. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you think that we will see Maurizio Pochettino come back to Spurs in the near future? A report out today from the Daily Mail and they are stating that Eric Dyer has demanded that Spurs double his £60,000 a week pay packet if they want to keep him. Dyer has stunned Spurs chief Daniel Levy by asking for a new pay packet in the region of around £120,000 a week. The player believes his new salary would bring him in line with his other Spurs teammates. Levy has always employed a strict Wage structure, which was smashed when Harry Kane agreed a £200,000 a week deal back in 2018. Now, earlier this month, do you remember that Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho said, my boss, Mr. Levy, tells me that he wants Eric Dyer to sign a new contract and Eric tells me he is more than happy to be here. Now, do you think Eric Dyer is worth £120,000 a week for a brand new contract? Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho has now been in charge at the club for almost eight months. He has managed Tottenham Hotspur Football Club for 31 competitive games, winning 13 of them, losing 11 and drawing seven. Now let me know in the comments section below how would you describe Mourinho's time at the club so far? The North London derby is just a couple of days away. It takes place on Sunday at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the first ever North London derby at our brand new home. Now, the players have been working very hard today at Hotspur Way, and these pictures were released by the club earlier. A report out in the Sun newspaper today and they have reported that the Premier League have admitted that VAR did get the Manchester United penalty given to Bruno Fernandes wrong and Harry Kane should have got a spot kick against Bournemouth. In the game against Bournemouth last night, referee Paul Tierney and VAR Mike Oliver were in agreement that King did not commit a foul. But yet again, Premier League officials have admitted this was not the right decision. Now, what a coincidence this is. Who is taking charge of the North London derby this Sunday? Yes, it is Michael Oliver. Jose Mourinho's press conference took place earlier today ahead of the North London derby on Sunday. And Tottenham have put this article out on their website. And it states that it is as we were in terms of team news ahead of the North London derby on Sunday. That means that Deli Alley is still out with a hamstring issue that has kept him sidelined for the last two matches against Everton and Bournemouth. Eric Dyer serves the second of his four-match suspension. There is some good news because both of the youngsters, Jaffat Tanganga and Troy Parrott, have returned to training after injury. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comments section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Stay safe and well. I'll see you tomorrow for the Tottenham v Arsenal match preview. Come on, you Spurs. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I have been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.